Hello everyone, it's Amy with Dewdrops Photography. I am super excited about the new set with Greater Than Gatsby. It's called the Newborn Studio Collection and it's been about four years or so since we had our last one, so it's really exciting. I shoot in RAW, so obviously it's gonna to convert to ACR. And I shoot pretty much how I want it out, straight out of camera, so I don't have to fuss with a lot of stuff in ACR. So let's get right to it. Uh, the first thing I normally do is fix the skin. And the great thing about this collection is you can click on everything that you think you're gonna need. This Clarity Smoother is the best thing that I've used in a very long time, but all the other great stuff about the, the color uh, uh, correctors and everything else, I just love how you can click on all of them that you want and have all your layers open on the side. Instead of like closing and reopening a new one, you can open them all that you think you need for now. So I've got the flaky skin, the clarity smoother, the red the reds. I'm going to use probably a little bit of this gray skin fix and I like to use a strong one. I use purple a lot too but I think this the gray is going to take out that purplish tone. Lips and cheeks and lash and brow. All right so we'll get right to it. I'm going to click on the flaky skin first. And as newborn photographers, we know that this is the most time consuming thing we do, and this has really helped speed up that process. And I chose an image with, you know, just a baby with not so many flakes because we could be here a very long time if we had a lot more. Okay, let me see if this will work on his eye brow, eyelash. Looks good. I like to zoom in pretty close when I'm working with the um, tougher areas. All right, and we're going to go to the Rid the Reds first. I'm going to use that at 40% for him. If he was really red, I'd go up to like 50%. Just a few little patches of red. And then let's warm that up or get rid of the, some of that over there too. And I use my bracket keys for my to my make my brush big and small just in case you're wondering how I'm doing it without going up to the top. Saves us some time. A little gray through here. A little gray through here. All right, and then we're going to go to lash and brow. At 30%, I'm going to go ahead and go over his eye line. And then he's got some great lashes, so I'm going to enhance those as well. I went back a step because I made my brush too big. So at 30% opacity. And if you mess up, you can you know go back a step, or you can just change your brush by hitting X to masking off. So you don't have to do too much. I made my brush too big again. <laughs> And then over here on the shadow, shadowy side, I want to enhance those a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to go to lips and cheeks. I don't have to use it on their lips too much, but every now and then they're a little bit blue or gray. So I add a little color to those areas. Okay, so the best thing is a clarity smoother. I'm going to change my brush to 100% right now so you can really see how great it is. And of course you want to avoid their hair, lips, and eyes. And I, um, like I said, I changed my brush up size using my bracket keys. Okay, that's amazing. So before and after on that one. But I do want to be able to bring it down. So you just, if you need to bring it down a little bit because you overdid it, just bring your opacity down that way. Um, so there's that, there's flaky skin, we already looked at that, rid the reds, I'm going to bring that down a little bit too, the gray skin, just warm that air, those areas up, lips, cheeks, and lash and brow, really made those pop, okay, so I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to flatten that, which is right here, now we can go down to the other fun stuff, um, the one click foundations are really fun. I like Bedtime Story the best. I've been playing with all of them. 
but this one's probably my favorite for how I shoot. You need to find what works for how you shoot. But I'm gonna bring it down quite a bit to like half. Oh, sorry, before or after. All right, and then I'm just gonna hit Command Shift E to get rid of those, um, to merge those layers down. I've been using, I've been enjoying all of these, but right now I don't need to use any of these right now. Cabbage Patch is probably my favorite. I mean, it's hard because every image is a little di bit different on how, like if it was a prop shot and it was a really dark and moody image, or if it was, you know, a bright and airy one, I would, the, the great thing is you can play all of them and click on and off all of them and decide which one works best for you for that image. Cabbage Patch is great. So there's Cabbage Patch gives it a little contrast and kind of tone, tones down that the skin. But I'm going to get rid of that and show you another fun one that I like a lot. The Wakey Wakey is really, really gives a dramatic pop. But for this image, I'm going to go back to Cabbage Patch. But again, you can play them all and decide which one you like the best. Okay, again, I'm going to bring that down. It's fun to play. But once you get your recipe that you find works best for the way you shoot, it's really a time saver. And we've got our legacy ones, Tummy Time. That was my go-to for a long time. All the studio lights are very fun to play with. For this particular image, I'm not gonna use any of these. The Fill Flash Pop, love it. So I'm going to make my brush 50%. And again, you can change your opacity up here just by clicking the digits on your keyboard. So I'm gonna give him a little pop of exposure. And you, it, it, again, it, every image is a little bit different. So if it was like a really moody image, you can add some light here and there and make it a little bit more drastic. That's good. And then of course, if you need to mask off an area that you overdid, just hit X and take your brush and mask that off. Okay. And so they've got so many awesome things to make your workflow a lot easier. The blanket blur, I'm gonna use that one today. At 50%, I'm just going to do a little quick blur around the blanket, just for fun. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. We've got the blanket color change. I'm not changing that today. Sharpen everything, great. And then the clean boost, these advanced finishing tones are kind of amazing as well. Um, I've been loving the clean boost, but for this one, I think I'm gonna try the natural light. Yes, I love it. So that's before and after there. And I'm gonna bring it down just a smidge. And you can also, I mean, you can hit Command I and invert that layer and just brush it on the baby if you don't want to desaturate everything. But I'm going to go back because I like it everywhere. Let's do 30%. And then, let's see, we are done. I'm going to try the one of these color match vignettes, because I like to do like a radial blur around the images on the bean bag, but this makes it a lot quicker. So I'm gonna hit the dramatic one. And you can either click on the image or you can find the color you're looking for just by sliding this up. I'm gonna go with a lighter blue, hit okay. And then you can change your mind anytime you want. You can go, oh, maybe I'll go a little bit lighter. So just by clicking in that, double clicking in that box, you can change it very easily, okay? Love it, okay, awesome. And then of course, I'm going to just do some manual cropping just because I wanna turn him a little bit. And I'm gonna bring this up. And if you just make sure that this is, uh, your content aware is selected up there, it should fill it in for you. And there we go. I'm gonna save that for mommy. Okay, and then if I wanna add it to social media, 
I will use my web exact dimension resizer and then add my watermark. All right, thank you so much. Thank you.